Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mackis, the Pelvic Whisperer. As a physical therapist who has had the honor and privilege of treating the pelvic floors of men and women for over 25 years, I am always on a quest to find better and easier ways to release tight muscles and fascia. And on my quest, I discovered some really cool ways to use the pelvic therapy TheraWands. So on our journey today, I hope that you will also sort of figure out which TheraWand is the best for your body's needs. All right, let's move on to the Trigger Wand, one of my obvious favorites. And this again was designed for internal anal release because of the narrow rod. And the ball on the end goes nicely into the anus to treat the anterior pelvic floor with the curved end, and then the straighter end again will treat the posterior pelvic floor. Please see my video for that. All right, so now we're gonna get to those really cool uses for the trigger wand that I discovered on my own body. So for all you overdoing workaholic exercise junkies, which includes many of my pelvic pain patients, this will be very helpful. The angle of this knob and curve is really amazing to release fascia and muscles externally. So I'm just going to take you through how to do that from your bottom of your foot to your neck. And another thing to remember is that when you're releasing externally, you do want some kind of a oil or a lotion. And I like to use lotions and oils with an anti-inflammatory property in them. Just make sure it's not too slippery or that it doesn't dry up too quick because then it's not very easy to do these fascial releases with. All right, when I lay down, I'll be releasing muscles behind me. And this is so you can kind of see where we're releasing. The upper trapezius and the levator scapula muscle, you can get really far down with the wand. So, and you can do this obviously in sitting or standing. And then when I'm in the quadratus lumborum, it's really in your waist here in all of the fascia of your abdominals where they come in and the thoracolumbar fascia. Then you'll be going down along the sacral border and all of your glutes and your piriformis muscle. But here I really wanted you to see how we hook into that sit bones and your ischial tuberosity. Because it's helpful to see that you're really hooking into your sit bones. That is where you'll reach your pelvic floor and the internal obturator muscles. Then as we work our way down into the insertion of the hamstrings, you'll be working through the hamstring bulk of the muscles that way. All right, I'm gonna take you through how to re release the big muscles as we go through your body. So you may need plantar fascial work. So obviously this is a great way to really release that plantar fascia with the knob. And then if you have trouble with your calf muscles, and the peroneal muscles, which I have some knee issues, so I do this every single day without fail. You can really release here and get back under in the calf muscles. So this is a great way to release any kind of problems you have around the knee. And then onto the iliotibial band, which a lot of you, I know your therapist have you releasing. Um, this is just a great tool to really do some cross friction massage with it because that band studies have shown it doesn't ever really lengthen. So to fix it, you really have to do some cross friction mobilization. And this wand is a very useful tool for that. And then you can just move your wand around to your hamstring muscles. You can get the distal hamstrings this way. And then usually I'll end up lying down and this is where I'm going to start with getting the more proximal hamstring muscles. You can bring your leg up like this and just get all that fascial release um, and around your, your sits bone again. Then 
a good way to get along the pelvic floor and the internal obturator is in sideline. If you have those really hot muscles and nerves with the nerves that are inflamed, you're not going to want to do like I'm doing, like this. You're going to want to do more sustained and holding pressure, and especially around the pelvic floor. So you'll just hook in, do your deep breathing, and release those muscles. And then you can just follow it up wherever you feel tight in your glutes and your piriformis. And then work your way up to the quadratus lumborum is really good to work on your side like this. Then you can move on up to the your shoulder and neck muscles all in here, the upper trapezius, the levator scapula. And I certainly spend a lot of time with my overused arms for manual therapy all day, releasing my neck and shoulders up in here. And I just hang out or I'll mobilize it, I'll move my neck while I hold it, whatever works for you. The key is you should just use enough pressure where it just feels better when you're done. Even if it kind of hurts while you do it, as long as it feels better later, then you're doing the right thing. Of course, we can't forget about your adductors because pelvic pain patients generally have tight adductors. So this is a nice position to really be able to get in there and release those adductors. Um, you can even use this end of the wand. Um, and the next thing I want to show you is how you could actually get in here for all these elbow tendonitis and overuse syndromes. I use my wand a lot for that in all kinds of ways. And, um, and especially for shoulder tendonitis. For shoulder tendonitis, a lot of times I'll get in here like this and release. Or I'll do this with the wand and it works great like that. So it's really easy. And of course the other wands, if you already have the vaginal wand, that works great. And for tendonitis, this little pocket wand is pretty amazing because it's sharp and it gets right to the point of these tendonitis and in the hand for these carpal tunnel stuff that I'm always battling too. So for all you multitasking type A people, which includes a lot of pelvic pain patients, you'll be happy to know that you can also use this for longer, prolonged stretches. If you have a lot of mobility, which probably half of pelvic pain patients are all hypermobile, so you have a lot of mobility, so you just want an easy way to stretch everything. Um, if you're tight, then with your hamstrings, I have those patients use longer hooks. And I'll get in there and even release with my um, pocket wand while I'm stretching because I'm so mega multitasker. Um, but it really is the way I actually do it myself and it works a lot for my patients as well. Now, if you're wanting to stretch your adductors, which I can't show you too well here, but you can also use the hook because it's really easy to control and get a long, prolonged stretch and even multitask releasing, which is what I like to do. And for your quads, the front of your thigh, it's kind of a nice tool to get a nice extra stretch. So you can do this. If you're having a hard time getting a really good stretch on your quads, I like to use my hook to do that. The key is that this won't work unless you use it. So this trigger wand can be really helpful to re help back pain, hip pain, knee pain, shoulder, neck, anywhere in your body, but you actually have to use it. So the trick I use for my own body, because I'm pretty darn busy, is I, every morning if or any time I turn on the TV and in the morning, early mornings, I might watch the news, I have a whole pad out and I will not do that without releasing and stretching. So that's how it works for me. And there is absolutely no excuse even during vacation because these wands are very portable. You can easily put them in your suitcase. The only thing is if you're a little bit worried about TSA, taken off with it because everybody wants one of these. Um, all you got to do is on the bag, this is what I do, I have on the bag that I carry it in saying for anal use 
only, and that is a pretty big deterrent. All right, I think you get the idea. These wands are useful tools for your body when used wisely. So be creative, but please be careful. And even better, get your pelvic floor physical therapists involved. Let them teach you and show you how to be safe. All right, well, be blessed and happy releasing.